Well, the stories may vary about what happened in this mud and stone hut here, but Percy French's version went something like this. He said, and I, I'm quoting him verbatim, by the way, I was staying in Drumichin at the time, which is the Godley's home near Carrigallon. One evening, the Reverend James Godley came in after one of his long walks and told me how he had met the local flute player and how he had paid his rent. I've paid up all my arrears, your reverence, says Phil the Fluther, for as you may have guessed, it was himself that was in it. And how did you manage that, says his reverence? Well, I give a ball, says Phil. A ball, says his reverence. Now, if my family asked me to give a ball, I'd have to put my hand in my pocket. And I think I'd keep it there, he added thoughtfully. Ah, oh, well, said Phil, you'd make a hole and a couple of pound giving your kind of ball, for you'd have to have a young lady to play the piano and cake and sandwiches and other combustibles. Now, when I give a ball, I clean out my cabin and I lock up any further drink in the cupboard. Then I put my hat behind the door and the neighbours come in bringing their suppers with them and each one putting a shilling or two in the hat. And this is the bit I like. Then I cock my leg over the dresser, I throw my top lip over the flute, and I tooth it away like a hat full of larks, and there they stay, lepping like hares till two in the morning. Have you heard the fella flute the from the town of Ballymuck? The times are going hard with him, in fact the man was broke. So we just sent out a notice to his neighbours, one and all, as to how he liked the company that evening at a ball. When writing out, he was careful to suggest to them that if they found a hat to this convenient to the door, the more they put in whenever he requested them, the better would the music be for batter in the floor. With the toot on the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle, hopping in the middle like a heron on a cradle, up, down, hands around, crossing to the wall. Oh, hadn't we the gaiety at Philip Luther's ball? Mr. Dennis Doherty, who kept the running dog. There was little crooked Paddy from the Turlock and Bog. Boys from every barony and girls from every yard. And the beauty from Miss Brady's and the private ass and cart. Along with them came Bouncer and Mrs. Camperty. Little Mickey Mulligan was also to the fore. Rose Suzanne and Margaret were rapidly the flower of Ali Bunyan and the pride of Petrovore. With the toot on the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle, up and in the middle like a heron on a cradle, up down hands around crossing to the wall. Oh, hadn't we the gaiety at Phil the Fluker's ball? Little Mickey Mulligan got up to show them how And then the winded Cafferty gets out and takes a bow I could dance you off your feet as she is sure as you were born If you'll only make the pipe of clear the hair was in the corn Phil plays up to the best of his ability The ladies and the gentlemen begin to do their share Faith and Mick, tis you that has agility And we got a Mrs. Cafferty, you're laughing like a hare With the tooth on the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle Up and in the middle like a heron on a gradle Up and down, hands around, crossing to the wall Oh, hadn't we the gaiety at Phil the Fluther's ball? The tip the way to little crooked Pat. I think it's very time to see for passing round the hat. So Paddy passed the cobby man and looking mighty cute. Says you got the faith the pipe for when he tootles on the flute. All join in with the greatest joviality. Cover in the buckle and the shuffle and the cut. Cheeks were danced of the very finest quality with the width of eight, the company and handle and the foot with the toot on the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle up and in the middle like a heron on a cradle up and down, hands around, crossing to the wall oh, hadn't we the gaiety at Phil? 